recording. Welcome to the Grandmaster Officiating Show. Y'all know who it is. It's your boy, the Grandmaster Troll. Here to give you guys some of the best officiating content YouTube has to offer. You guys know I wear the GoPro on my head. Hold on, let me see if I can find that GoPro real quick. Give me one second. Give me one second to find that GoPro. Okay, we done found the GoPro. We done found the GoPro. So you guys know. You guys know I wear the GoPro on my head. Let's see if I can put it on real quick. Let's see if I can put it on real quick. Yep, just like that. And this GoPro allows me to see everything and rewatch everything. So if there's a call I want to see or a certain game situation or a moment I want to relive, I could wear this, record the game, upload it on YouTube, and review it and enjoy. So we're going to look at this particular scenario reffing adult league soldier town and these dudes is crazy they be flopping they be complaining so we're gonna look at we're gonna look at a play and we're gonna see how i officiate it now when it comes to adult league I officiate them a little bit differently especially when you in the hood dealing with these folks out here you no know? It's Sunday afternoon, they've been drinking, they've been smoking. Don't lie, players. I I, I know y'all be drinking. And you want to know how I know? Well, it's been a couple of times we be out there officiating. Everybody got a little water bottle. One of the water bottles got mixed up with a referee's water bottle. A referee picked up a player's water bottle, took a sip from that water bottle and lo and behold in that water bottle was some vodka now so we all know so we ain't gotta play them and that's why y'all be out here acting crazy just like this dude i'm about to break down right here so with that said let's get right to it so we're gonna have a play right here Okay, it's a little bit jumpy because it's 1080p. Let's try 720. 720 shouldn't be too bad. You shouldn't be buffering on 720. Let's roll the tape. So we have a technical foul on white 35. Let's go ahead and roll the tape a little bit more. Alright, so that's that that was that was the whole sequence right there. We gotta go ahead. 
We gotta go ahead. We we got we gotta break we gotta break it down. We gotta break it down because this dude was off the chain. I mean, he could have easily been thrown out of the game, but GMT, I'm always in a good mood and I be giving these dudes too many chances because I know they paid hard earned money to play in this league and I want to be have them enjoy their time out there on the basketball court with their friends you know try and stay in shape and do some positive but we're gonna go ahead and break down what went wrong during this sequence right here so let's back it up a couple of seconds all right so we're gonna have a drive to the basket Okay, stop the show right here. So the complaint he said, he said, goddamn N word, which we all know, foul language, racial, racial slurs, racial slurs, like the N word. Those are supposed to be technical fouls, automatic ejections. So he could have got ejected just off that. He didn't knock the ball out my hand. He could have got a technical foul. And since he made contact with an official, he could have got ejected. But he said he got hit on his head and it was a foul. So we're going to review the tape to see how hard or if he was hit on the head. Let's go ahead and back it up. Make sure you guys can see. Oh, we, 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 we got to stop the show. He's crying about this little hit to the head. Let's, let me, let's play this again. So he catches it in the post. He's got two people on him, it looks like. Could, could, could have called a traveling call because he didn't release it and he came back down. Maybe the ball was hit. Maybe he muffed it. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. He's supposed to be the best player in this league. Bounces the ball. He says he got hit in the head. Arm straight up for the defender. Mm, I I guess I guess his arm touched his head, but he really jumped into his arm. Misses the point blank shot. And then he gives a ten, a tamper tent. So now we got to count. Hold on, hold on. Let's see. Let's see, because now we got to count how many technical fouls and how many ejections did he rack up if this would have been a real regulation game. So with that said, we're going to go to our handy dandy scoreboard right here. Does that pop up for us? No, doesn't want to pop up for us. So let's remove. Let's remove. Let's add the other scoreboard. Hold on. Now all of a sudden they don't want to work. All of a sudden, they don't want to work. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why don't you want to work all of a sudden? Okay. They don't want to work all of a sudden. So it looks like we're going to have to count it without it. But let's count all the technical fouls and ejections that he racked up over this play right here. Let's make sure you guys can see it. Yep. So he said the N word right there. That's one technical foul, one ejection. Oh, he knocked the ball and made inappropriate contact with an official. That's two technical fouls and an ejection. He said the N word again. So that's three technical fouls and an ejection. 
And then when we come to shoot the technical fouls, you can see the other referee right here. You can see the other referee right here. Let's let's, let's zoom in on the arrow. You can let's focus in because they're right here. They're right here. You can see the other referee trying to hold him back, and whenever you, whenever somebody has to hold you back from coming after another official, that's a technical foul. That's deemed unsporting content. So then he came real, real close to the official and stared me down. So that could have easily been a technical foul right there. But I let your boy live because I, I really like watching him play basketball. No, he's always out there pushing off. He's trying to cheat, you know. He's trying to throw his body, create space, and do all this extra stuff. And he's, and he's a real challenging player to officiate because he wants every little touch to the head but when he pushes off when he cuts when he commits a foul he swears up and down that he don't foul anybody so that's just a couple of the plays or a couple of the situations that i get with the this gopro right here so let me guys know what you think did I go? Did, 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 did I let this player get away with too much? Do you think he was fouled? Do you think he was hit on the back of the head? If so, let me know. It's your boy, the Grandmaster Troll. Peace.